Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about bush cherries. This is a type of cherry that is a prunus. It's related to your standard Bing type cherry, but it's not quite. Um, they grow in different habits. You can see they're more of a bush. That's why they call them bush cherries. They have a lot less issues in terms of disease, growth problems. Um, they're just longer lived plants. They're very easy to propagate. They sucker very easily, even though this one here hasn't. You can see they branch out quite nicely down low. And um, overall, they're just very easy things to grow. Another nice source of food. Uh, and let's just taste them, because I haven't really gotten the greatest taste evaluation on these yet. And you can see that these berries actually look pretty damn close to perfect. Uh, what's interesting, with the net is that it really helped protect these and it was very easy to net. The birds didn't get to this at all. Um, whereas some other prunuses, the Bing type cherries I have, because they're not as compact, because they're not as bush-like, they're more difficult to protect. So let me show you guys now what this tastes like here. It's quite dark red, a little soft. There is a pit, of course. That's been the big issue with these is that the pit to the flesh ratio has never really been that great. And a lot of pitters that you have just kind of struggle with that. So you need to have maybe even specialized equipment to really pit a lot of these. But for me, the flavor was not that bad. That was quite good. Um, I would say that's probably a six out of 10 compared to other fruits. So. I would say a, probably a blueberry and a raspberry and blackberries are a seven. That's right under those. I would say a sweet Bing type cherry is also a seven. Um, so for me, that's just under those. That's not bad. That's right along lines of uh, a Gumi. Uh, actually, I think a Gumi is more of a seven, probably even better than that. But for me, the flavor is not that impressive. I'm going to be honest. Maybe I should try a few more here. You know, it's just, it tastes a lot like your standard pie type sour cherry that you would get. You know, I think these would make obviously great juice, jams, jellies, pies. Yeah, I'm just not picking up a whole lot of flavor. I mean, it's just a tart, interesting berry flavor, but you know, it's not the greatest fruit. Um, this is Carmine Jewel here. This is Romeo or Juliet. I have the tag down here somewhere, but neither Romeo or Juliet really fruited all that well. You can see the berries in here. Uh, they're not really technically berries, are they? But uh, let's show you guys the other bush. They just grow, what I do like about them is they grow nicely. You know, they're very easy to maintain. As I've said, guys, but let me just show you guys the last one here, and that'll be it. We have a nice net on this one here, but the berries don't look to be really all that large. Let me take some off here for you guys. These look like they've almost dried on the plant, or didn't even, didn't even really uh, form correctly. Let's try it. Yeah, that's really not that good. <laughs> So anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Yeah, I can't eat that, but that was bush cherries for you guys. So for those of you guys who are interested in growing that, I think that's honestly a pretty decent representation of what to expect. Cherries, I'm just not into, guys. You know? The Bing type cherries, you get them at the store and they taste pretty much the same as what you can grow at home. So for me, that's just a nice little reliable food source. It's easy to grow. In fact, I think I'd rather grow the sour cherries ahead of the Bing type cherries. But to be honest, both I probably wouldn't grow. Just being honest. So in the future, I probably am gonna get rid of these things or not grow them. All right, guys. 
Take care. It was so nice to uh, be able to review this with you guys. I'm really disappointed, honestly. I was hoping for more. But anyway, that's it. We'll see you for tomorrow's video, guys. Take care. I'll catch you soon.